Pardon me, stranger. I got 1015. What time you got? Well, judging by the sun, I make it to be 1021. Leave your mic slow. Hey, Crockett ain't here yet. Look closer, friend. Hey, Crockett, I know you anywhere. I'm Crockett. Anywhere, Crockett. There he is. Well, folks, he came along from here and comes with We prepared a song for you. He'd like to welcome you. Let's welcome you, guys. Your service. And a magistrate, you say? 
A regular full-time judge. Judge Matthew Sway presiding. And not that I'm planning on needing one, but you mentioned an undertaker. Where might I find this gentleman? Let Matthew Swain help ease the pain. <laughs> now we know you own the saloon, the general store, and the livery stable. Guilty, Judge Swain? On all accounts. Now, don't tell me you're the school marm, too. No, no. My daughter Carrie Ann here is the school marm. I bet on it. Money in the bank. Which I happen to be president. We solicit your account. All right, folks, the time has come. We are honored, honored and privileged to have this man who needs no introduction. A man who is known for his bravery. He fought the Wiley Redskins in the forest and he grit down and beat very times out of ten. Yes, my folks. Can look at you, you like better. Get nothing out of this little girl by pushing her around. Now, Bernie, you have something you want to tell us? All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to sing it. She can't sing. Now, now, just sing what you want to tell us. Don't be bashful. Not as much. But say, Gertie, 
I'm sure proud of you. When you sang, you not only didn't stutter them, but you sang like a bird. By George, you're right, Miss Carrion. Gurney, you have a great future as a singer. <laughs> just, just sing it, Gurney. Let it flow. I thank you, Gurney. You taught me something today. How's that? Well, Gurney doesn't have much of a talking ability, but she sure can sing. So let her do the best she can with what she's got and sing. If you want to dig potatoes, you ought to have a hoe. But suppose that you ain't got one. Well, look. Just put your stoutest boots on and dig them with your toe. They'll turn out just as tasty when they're cooked. If you're yearning for some cornbread, you gotta make some dough. And that takes cornmeal, eggs, and milk, that's sweet. But if all you have is cornmeal, there's another way to go. Just boil it. And that we paint and mules and tools, my friends. But suppose that you ain't got none, just do the work by hand. You'll have us for the cabin in the end. The hotel, Georgie. Miss Carrie Ann? Yes. Your father owns the hotel, I assume? Any day now. It's an escrow. <laughs> See you later. Bye, guys. So long, Gurney. So, Mike, uh, how'd you endure the libations? They were good. They could kind of like the free drinks, too. So, uh, Mike, tell me. What we'll brings you your game, uh, associates, to Mayfield this particular time? Come on, Shereen. Yaller, yaller. Wait a minute. There ain't no gold around these parts. Somebody's been playing for a fool, Mike. Nah, Shereen. You don't understand. Not the kind of gold you dig out of the ground. That kind of gold's me. The gold inside in your daughter's hair.
just fun with me when you said you was going to the box up for that there data client. You're going with me, now, ain't you? Now, just a minute, Mike Fink. Why? I reckon Carrie Ann can go with whoever she wants to to the box supper. Well, just as he's a congressman, he thinks he's a retail wonder. <laughs> Oh, tell you what, Crockett, let me and you settle this like men. And how's that? With a fight, bare fisted, and no stuff until one of the others is not clean out. How's that strike? Uh, not very good. I'm against fighting. Totally against you now. <laughs> I'm against fighting, Mike, but in your case, I'm willing to make an exception. Hold on, Bessie, for me, Georgie. Now, just a minute. Hold it right there. How dare you? Fight over me like I was not in here. I'll decide who I'm going to the box supper with, and it won't be with the winner or loser of a fist fight. Carry on, that's right, Mike. Fighting's no way to settle things. Tell you what, let's you and me settle this with a Tall Tales contest. Not over me. Of course not. This is just for the fun of it. What do you say? I say. What in tarnation's a tall tale contest? Yeah. It's to see who can tell the biggest lie. <laughs> well, you being a congressman and all, I reckon you ought to give me some kind of head start. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, Mike. I'll only lie out of one side of my mouth. <laughs> Fair enough. But I get to go first, okay? All right. The stage is yours, Mr. Pink. Let's hear your tallest tale. <laughs>
could have done it without you? Well, that's something called cooperation, Mike. It's a mighty handy thing to have when put in a fire up. And there's any number of things you can do with it. You said most kids have it, but not only that, we found out what a wonderful singing voice you've got. Now I want you to report for five o'clock this Wednesday evening at the prayer meeting, okay? All right, folks, we've had a fun. Now, I'll bring you the guest of honor, otherwise I might get interrupted again. <laughs> Here he is, folks, and make a Tell you what, folks, we've had a long day, with a lot of Fourth of July and still to come. I reckon the time for speech of fine is long past and gone. So I'm going to take some advice I gave to my friend Gurney here and sing my remarks. If you want to keep a country free, there's one thing that you need. There's one thing you must have, it seems to me. 